viewers all over the globe by say once again welcome to the tabernacle of the science oracle and for the sake of those who are viewing my handle for the very first time i think it is imperative for me to what disclose to you my names so my names are Einstein David Bonaventure Oke Ogene Ua, aka Davilio Davili. Academically, by God's grace, celebrated as the science oracle. Our subject for today is chemistry. And of course, the topic under consideration has been tagged quantum numbers. Quantum numbers. But before diving in detail to look at all the subjects, or the topic rather under consideration, I deem it imperative to do a rundown through the atomic world model historically, but at a glance, because this I feel as a way of imparting our understanding positively and enormously. So let's go quantum what numbers straight to business quantum numbers quantum numbers quantum numbers so like i said before we shall be doing the rundown through the atomic world model beginning from the era of the chemist known as john Dutton, going by the publication made by him in the year 1804 which is today celebrated as the john Dutton atomic world theory we can conclusively admit, in summary, that what an atom is the smallest indivisible part of an element. The smallest indivisible part of what an element that has the capacity to interact chemically in a given chemical reaction. And this would account for the reason or why it is possible for an atom of hydrogen to combine with an atom of what oxygen to produce a molecule of what water. That was the concept in totality that was put forward in 1804 by the chemist known as John Dutton. That an atom is the smallest indivisible part of what an element that can exist chemically and also having the inherent capacity to interact chemically and the cause of what chemical what reaction. For an investigation of the atom by the chemist known as MS Watt Rutherford reveals to us that in every atom there exists a small, dense, positively charged central what part, which is today known or called the nucleus. Called what? The nucleus implying that the nucleus of the atom was actually discovered by the scientist known as Ernest Rutherford in the year 1911. A small, dense, positively charged central word part is called the nucleus of what the atom. This very nucleus was further investigated in the year 1886 by Eugene Gostein using what ghosting who eventually came up with a monumental word breakthrough as a result of the discovery of a sub atomic particle which is today called the proton called the word the proton the proton was discovered in 1886 by using what ghosting in the course of its experiment and it was found to be contained inside of the nucleus of the atom that is said to be a positively charged subatomic what particle embedded or enclosed or contained in the nucleus of the atom. That was the discovery made in 1886 by Eugene Goldstein. In the year 1932, another remarkable discovery was made with respect to the nucleus of the atom, and it was actually made by the chemist known as James Shadwick. James Shadwick discovered in addition to the positively charged atomic particle known as the proton that was unraveled in 1886 by Eugene Goldstein, it was discovered that there exists another subatomic particle, although neutral in nature, and this is today called the neutron. 
The neutron is a subatomic word particle which is found inside of the nucleus of the atom and it was discovered in 1932 by James Shadwick. As if that was not enough, the man known as Joseph John Thompson conducted further experiments on what they had done and he came to realize that orbiting around the nucleus of the atom is negatively charged subatomic what particle. In eventuality, J.J. Thompson came up with a breakthrough which is today known as the electron. The electron, a negatively charged atomic what particle which was admitted to be orbiting around what the nucleus of what the atom. That was in the year 1897. The electron was discovered by J.J. Thompson. The charge possessed by the electron was equally discovered by J.J. Thompson and it is given numerically as 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 27, 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 2. Whereas the charge, whereas the charge to the word mass ratio of what the electron was discovered by Robert Watt A. Watt Millikan also in the same year 18 Watt 90 Watt 7. Furthermore, in the year 1913, in the year 90 Watt 13, a globally celebrated chemist known as Watt Nierbohr came up with a striking Watt discovery concerning the electron. He admitted that what the electrons are seen to be orbiting around the nucleus of the atom and the electrons are seen to be what orbiting around the nucleus of what the atom in a regular definite fixed word pattern which he refers to as the orbit the what the orbit that is the regular circular pattern upon which an electron is seen to move is said to be the orbit. That was the concept introduced in the year 1913 by a great word chemist known as what Nebor. Nebor admitted that the electron that was discovered in 1897 by J.J. Thompson moved in a definite regular pattern around what the nucleus of the atom. This definite regular pattern is today called the orbit. You can as well refer to it as what the atomic shell or the energy world level. You see that you call it the orbit, the shell, or what the energy world level. But in the year 18 or 19, rather 26, the Austrian world physicist, known as what Henwing Skrondijab discarded the concept of what an electron moving in a definite fixed word pattern around the nucleus of the atom. But rather, he insisted that an electron do not move around the nucleus of the atom in a definite regular pattern. But rather, it is associated with what an amplitude which is eventually refers to as the wave function which is eventually refers to as the wave function denoted by the greek alphabet known as what psi the mass bone further investigated the concept that was introduced by what and with Skrondigan, and it came to realize something that was very revolutionary and of course monumental he said that what the summation the word summation, the summation of the square of what the wave word function is a probability function. Is what a probability function that describes a region, a space around the nucleus of what the atom, where there is a maximum probability of locating or finding an electron. This region is today called the atomic orbital. It's called what? the atomic orbital is today called the atomic orbital. So if they ask you, what is an atomic orbital? 
when you ask what is an atomic orbiter, what will be your response? An atomic orbiter is simply what? A region in space around the nucleus of the atom where there is a maximum probability of finding an electron. I reiterate, an atomic orbiter is defined as a region in space around the nucleus of the atom where there is a maximum probability of finding what? An electron. This concept was actually introduced to discard or reject the atomic orbit as initiated in the year 1913 by Niel Bohr. Furthermore, in the year 1900, two great world quantum physicists known as Ludwig Carl Max Planck and Albert Einstein came up with an observation. They discovered that what as the electrons tend to what jump, in other words, transit from one atomic world orbiter to another atomic world orbiter, the hidden world emits or absorb energy that comes in the form of a discrete definite world packet that as an electron transits from one atomic orbiter to another atomic orbiter, they tend to either absorb or what radiate or emit energy in a discrete packet, otherwise known as, according to what, Max Planck as quantum. Quantum. So if you ask you what is quantum, this was the concept introduced by Max Planck to describe the definite packet of energy emitted as electron tends to transit or move from one atomic orbiter to another atomic world orbiter, previously known as one energy level to another energy level, otherwise called the Hobbit or the electronic world share. This one discrete packet of energy, according to Max Planck, is today called quantum of world energy. But from the observation of Albert Einstein, it is regarded as what a photon. Whether it is photon or whether it's quantum, it simply defines the discrete packet of energy that is produced as an electron tends to transit from one atomic orbiter to another atomic world orbiter. This is usually denoted by delta word E, which is equivalent to what, or which is said from which from experimental observation was discovered to be directly proportional to the frequency of what emission. Eradicating the sign of proportionality. A constant of proportionality was introduced, and today we have delta word E to be equal to word HF. This is what we call the Planck energy word equation. Delta E simply what defines the discrete packet of what energy, otherwise known as what quantum, and which, like I said, according to Albert Einstein, is known as what the photon. Now, first set of numbers eventually. We are what invented principally to describe completely and of course correctly the behavior of what the electrons in their atomic world orbiter in the course of their transition from one atomic orbiter to another. These four sets of numbers which today account correctly and of course completely of what the electrons in their atomic orbiter is what we today call quantum numbers. Quantum numbers. So if you are asked what are quantum numbers? Quantum numbers are simply four sets of numbers invented to correctly and of course completely account for the behavior of the electrons in the atomic orbiter. Take note, I've told you what an atomic orbiter is all about. In fact, they may even ask you in the course of examination of the difference between an atomic orbit and of course an atomic orbiter. An atomic what orbit is simply a concept that insisted or an atomic orbit is simply a definite circular pattern which according to what Nearbaugh was admitted to be the region where an electron is found towards orbit. Whereas an atomic orbiter is not a definite regular or circular pattern but rather it is a probability function that describes a region in space 
or it is what a region in space around the nucleus of the atom where there is a maximum probability of finding an electron. Now, there are four sets of numbers actually invented by quantum scientists to account correctly and of course completely for the behavior of the electrons in the atomic orbital. These four sets of what numbers are what we call quantum numbers. So what are quantum numbers? In brief, quantum numbers are defined as four sets of numbers invented to account correctly and completely about the atomic world orbitals, particularly the position of what the electron in the atomic world orbital with respect to the nucleus of the atom. The energy possessed by the electron in the atomic orbital, the size of the atomic orbital, the shape of the atomic orbital, the number of degenerate atomic orbital, and of course, the direction of orientation in space and spinning of the electrons in the atomic orbital. So with the help of these four sets of numbers, we can have a perfect knowledge of the whole behavior of the electrons in the atomic orbital. Like I said before, it will be able, with the help of this four set of numbers, you will be able to know of what the size of what the atomic orbital, the energy possessed by the electrons in the atomic world orbital, the position of what the atomic orbital with respect to the nucleus of the atom, talking about the direction of what spinning of the electron in the atomic orbital, the orientation in space of what the atomic world orbital, and of course the shape of what the atomic world orbital. From the definition, you admit, agree, agree with me that there are four are you there, types of what quantum world numbers. There are about what four types of what quantum world numbers, which you could easily remember using the acronym known as what PAMS, known as what PAMS. The first on the list is called the principal quantum world numbers. The principal quantum numbers followed by the azimuthal quantum world numbers. And of course, we have the magnetic quantum world number. And of course, finally, we have the spin quantum world numbers. We shall be considering them one after what the other, so that you can have a detail and, of course, ingested and digested knowledge of what. In fact, I will be looking at them one after the other, providing you with the basic information.